You know that a game is going to be good when my computer immediately quarantines it as a virus. <laughs> So about a year ago, I was in Manchester with my girlfriend, and we found this thing. So obviously I bought it. I mean, if this doesn't say top quality nightmare fuel, I don't know what will. This is Winter Games. And no, it's not the one that the Angry Video Game Nerd did. Although if you want to consider it a spiritual successor or even a remake of that, then go right ahead. Get ready for the most fish-slinging, gnome-hurling, slip-sliding winter games you've ever seen. You're awfully presumptuous, game. From launching gnomes from a catapult to sliding down a treacherous ice run, these games are more fun than anything you'll see in the Winter Olympics. Well, I can't argue with you there. They were kind enough to bullet point its features with this horrifying penguin. Thank you for that. Now each one of these features will give me nightmares. Events include hurling, sliding, and seal sling. So projectile vomiting is a winter sport now? Practice and competition modes. Play against seven of your friends in multiplayer mode. Yeah, but I'm not really sure that the kind of people who play games like this have friends. Let alone seven of them. Cartoon style 3D graphics. A true family fun game. Not one of those fake family fun games. Anyway, you know that this game is going to be great when you're given the option to play three other games instead of it. One thing that's interesting is that it's not rated by the Entertainment Software Board. It's seemingly rated by Just Games. Not sure whose authority they represent, but um... So we launched the game to find out that... Yan was here. Yeah, I googled that phrase and literally nothing came up, so I have no idea what the fuck that is. So I thought that I might be able to change my in-game name, but I don't think there's an option to do that. What a shame. Wait a seal flipping minute. Gnome's Games Winter Edition. This game lied to me. So much for a true family fun game. It's just like all the others. Anyhow, it cuts you to... a gnome about to get launched from a catapult. So it's basically that Rayman Raving Rabbids mini game where you have to launch a character across a landscape and throw them as far as you can. Unlike that game, you can just click the mouse and to keep afloat, you just wiggle it around a bit. And that's basically it. There's no animation for when you hit the floor like in that game, but this looks like it was made 10 years or so before, so I'll let it slide. Fuck it! You know, I would have liked it if they had told me the point of the game, as well as the controls before they threw it at me, but... Instead, they just sort of drop you in, and then just tell you to do your best. It doesn't take long to figure out any of these games. However, a simple sentence would do wonders as far as understanding what you're doing goes. I eventually flapped my way to victory by moving the mouse around and got a lot further on my third attempt. I didn't really beat the record, but... Do I really give a shit? I mean, I wonder though, like, why do all North Pole games involve self-harm? I mean, this is yet another Arctic game, which is about a bunch of Arctic-dwelling morons trying to kill themselves for sport. Is it because of the depressing lighting, the cold, the bleak white landscape that just goes on forever? I mean, it's probably all of the above. The next minigame, I need to fire a hose at penguins. Wait, wait, no, maybe I have to fire it at the fish? What the shit am I doing? 
Oh, I have to make the surface slippy so that the penguins can't get it. This actually reminds me of another Raving Rabbids minigame. You know, the carrot juice one. I hate this game. Reminding me of my childhood traumas. It really needs to fuck off. Why is this asshole gnome tormenting the penguins like this? It's pretty grim, I'm not gonna lie. So, when he's not trying to kill himself, he's trying to make everybody else's life around him miserable. Maybe he should just stick to his first hobby. The next mini game is flirting with death by sliding around a series of precarious ledges trying not to fall and die too quickly. Then as you go further down, this penguin bastard starts throwing shit at you. The control was absolutely bloody awful, so I wasn't able to do it even once. Getting disqualified every time I even tried. It doesn't help that you get one chance to get it right before being dumped onto the next game. It's like, oh, here's a, oh, okay, slingshot game now, okay. The next one is firing fish out of a slingshot at seals. I actually thought they were crystals at first because of the weird polygony look of the fish. It's awkward as fuck to do, but I at least understand what I'm doing. Right up until a penguin just steps out and starts doing things in the middle of the arena. What the fuck? What? What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the running out of time noise is probably one of the most irritating things I've ever heard in a game. I mean, the first time I heard it, I had no idea why it was playing, or what the hell I was doing wrong, or where it was coming from. And it is incredibly annoying as well, which on this show is kind of a staple at this point. Right, so finally we're at the sliding thing, which is just awful by the way. Took me several attempts to do it properly. The first time I slammed into a rock and couldn't move. So I had to forfeit with the escape key. Shit, what is this? Ah, no. Fuck. What's happening? I don't like it, I'm scared. Anyway, that's the last one, marking the end of our times with Gnome Games Winter Edition. Or Winter Games. Whatever the shit we're calling it. Yes, this game's footage took me less than 10 minutes to record. It was so brief that the first time I played this, my girlfriend was next to me, went to check something on her phone, and by the time she was done, I'd played through the whole game. I mean, the only game where I have less footage than this, I think, is Combat Ace. Let that one sink in. I admit that I found the PS1 era graphics charming. It's not the worst looking game that I've played. And as far as shovelware goes, it's head and shoulders over YFT India or Phoenix Games. Well, I give this the coveted dot 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 out of 10 for being Winter Games. Now, this is going to be one hell of a short video, so I figured I'd show you some of the other games on here. You know, the trial ones that it seemed a bit more interested in selling me than the actual game. So, let's give them a shot. Oh. None of them fucking work. Merry Christmas! Okay, okay, because I'm such a sweetheart, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna be playing three games off my back burner. So join me next week as we go through three games that are from Steam, which are so shit that I doubt they'd get their own episodes otherwise. Or maybe I'll get those three demos working. Jesus Christ, that would be a fucking miracle, wouldn't it? Christmas miracle wasted on a bunch of demos for shovelware games. That's this show in a nutshell. Right, now I've got to go and play some miserable fucking Steam games. I hate Christmas. Fucking hate it.
Oh my god, what the shit. Oh, I see. No, I don't. What the fuck? Oh no, help. I don't want to die. Disqualified! Ah! 